Hi, Pedralites. How are you doing? Welcome to today's video. My name is Glory Pendra Akpan GPA. It's so good to be here. I'm so happy for life. I'm so happy for you guys. And I'm really glad that my community is growing. Thank you so much for all the girls get well wishes and prayers. I feel stronger today oh. and I'm here. <laughs> Bandana, Lori, busy to in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to come up with the perfect fashion business name the kind of name that will stay long lasting in the minds of your customers and people who just heard about your brand a sweet name that will totori people's body you know i'll teach you how to come up with that kind of name also before the end of today's video i'm going to be picking the first lucky winner into our masters of ready to wear program yes she will be the first winner on scholarship into the masters of ready to wear program so don't go anywhere stay tuned watch the video to the end so you can find out if you are that lucky winner also <laughs> turn on post notification there is a bell somewhere around the screen right now look for it and touch it turn on post notification so that you will be notified when i have new videos shared on here so that if you are one of the lucky winners you will come and claim your position fast fast because if i mention you as a lucky winner and you do not come and claim it i will just assume that you have gone into space you know and i will look for somebody else to occupy that space your position and you would not want that right so please turn on post notification also guys yes so it's still open if you want to join the masters of ready to wear program and scholarship all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment in the comment section saying you would want to be part of the masters of ready to wear program on scholarship is that easy i will select winners randomly please guys <laughs> stop trying to bribe me don't bribe me i'm incorruptible <laughs> i cannot be corrupted this is going to be a lucky something right i'm picking people randomly so don't try to come and you know play me with all those emotional numbers it will not work it will not work <laughs> If you want me to pick you, go and pray because it's a lucky something. But if you don't like all those uncertainties, guys, you can register for the program. See, it's heavily discounted. It's heavily, heavily discounted. Early best registration is really, really discounted. Click the link right now, pinned in the comment section, and I will tell you all the details of the program, including the course outline it's too much safe for the fee <laughs> you know what guys you know what just register register now because the next time you might contact me for this <laughs> i might have either stopped doing the program or the fee will now be worth my while because right now we are still in the spirit of new year promo something so take advantage of it now the new here welcome to this channel we talk all about fashion business tips, the secrets to succeed in your fashion business. We also do a little bit of tutorials and DIYs, and of course, my pretty, pretty lifestyle. <laughs> this is where you want to be really. So hit the subscribe button and welcome to the Pendralite family. When choosing a business name, it's important to keep in mind that the name should be memorable, easy to pronounce and spell and also reflective of your brand image and aesthetics it's also a good idea to ensure that the name is not already used another company know they use them also ensure that it's free that the domain name is free so that when you want to set up your website you will not hear that it's already taken so go to cac and register your business name as soon as possible if you are not sure you know another quick way you can do a search is to go on places like instagram pinterest and even google and search out the name and see if it has already been taken because it will pain you it will really pain you when you have invested so much in you know building that brand and getting it registered in the minds of people only to hear that there's another 
place in Cameroon that somebody is using that name, you know, that wouldn't be quick. That wouldn't be cute. It wouldn't be cute. <laughs> Also, consider the future growth and expansion of your brand and if that name will still be relevant and fitting. Another important factor to consider when choosing a name for your business is whether or not it is legally available. This means checking to see if the name has already been trademarked or registered by any other company, like I said. You can do this by consulting a lawyer who specializes in trademark laws. In addition, please consider your target market when you're trying to come up with your business name. Is it going to be relevant to them? Will it be appealing to them? For example, if your target markets are young and trendy people, you want a more modern and edgy name, just like rough and tumble, you know, or you want a more traditional or classic name. It's also a good idea to get feedbacks on the names you're considering from friends, family, or your potential customers. It's important to consider if the name is easy to remember and if it reflects your brand mission and value. The name you choose for your fashion business should be unique, catchy and memorable and align with your brand's mission and vision or values. Mission and values. <laughs> now, how do you ensure that the name you choose is reflective of your brand mission and value? You have to first start by identifying what your mission and value are. For example, is your brand focused on sustainability, inclusivity, or luxury? Once you have a clear understanding of your brand mission and value, you can then begin to brainstorm and reset potential names that align with those, you know, mission and value. For example, if your brand is focused on sustainability, you may want to consider names that incorporate words or phrases that is related to sustainability, such as eco or green or sustainable, you know. Similarly, if your brand is focused on inclusivity, you may want to consider the names that reflect such, such as unlimited, all-inclusive or inclusive. You can also look for inspiration from other sources, such as your um, brand values, your target market and even your competitors. <laughs> It's also important to remember that the name is only one aspect of your brand though, and that your brand's vision and value should be reflective of all aspects of your business, including um, products, design, marketing, and customer service. I have said you should make sure that that brand name is also memorable. Now, the question might be how? There are a few ways to make sure that the name you choose for your fashion business is memorable. Now, keep it simple and easy to pronounce as well as easy to spell. A name that is easy to remember and pronounce will be more likely to stick in people's minds. Make it unique and distinctive. A name that stands out from the crowd will be more likely to be remembered than one that, you know, is similar to other people's name in the industry. Use puns, wordplay, or alliteration. These words can make a name more memorable and fun. Consider a name that evokes a certain feeling or emotion. A name that makes people feel good or happy, you know, will be a more memorable name than a name that doesn't evoke any emotion at all. Test the name with your target audience. Get feedback and see how easily they remember it. Ultimately, a memorable name is one that is easy to remember, unique and meaningful. It should also align with your brand mission and vision, like I said earlier on. Here are some examples of names that evoke a happy feeling or a feeling of emotion. If you have a fashion name and let's say the name is Chidi and you say Chidi Bella, Bella will evoke a feeling of beauty and elegance, all right? Joyful traits. This will evoke a feeling of happiness and positivity. Um, let's say Amaka Elevates. This one will evoke a feeling of elevation and inspiration. Um, let's say Fumi Kozikutor. It will evoke a feeling of warmth and comfort, you know. Um, let's say um, Ebuka Serendipity. That kind of name will evoke a feeling of luck and good fortune, okay? Um, let's say Taiwo Empowers. That kind of name will evoke a feeling of strength and self-confidence. Um, let's say you choose a name like um, Peter James Seren. <laughs> the word Seren will evoke a feeling of femininity and allure, okay? If you have the word rebel attached to your fashion business name, we evoke a feeling of individuality and non-conformity. Okay, Lux Life, that would evoke a feeling of luxury and high-end living. 
effortless chic will evoke a feeling of simplicity and elegance it's important to note that a name that evokes a certain feeling or emotion should also align with your brand vision value and target market and you should also make sure that the name is legally available though i don't stress this one and very marketable I had said that you should make sure that your brand name is reflective of your brand image and aesthetics. This is how. You start by thinking about the kind of image and aesthetics your brand represents. For example, is your brand focused on luxury? Or is your brand a minimal brown? Or is it a bohemian or streetwear? Once you have a clear understanding of your brand's image and aesthetics, you can then begin to brainstorm and research potential names that align, you know, with that image and aesthetics. For example, if your fashion brand is focused on luxury, you may consider names that incorporate words or phrases related to luxury, such as lux or elite or premier or premium. Similarly, if your brand is focused on minimalism, you may want to consider names that reflect it such as simplicity minimal or effortless you can also look for inspiration from other sources such as your brand's design your target markets and again your competitors it's also important to remember that the name is only one aspect though <laughs> it's just one aspect of your brand your brand's image and aesthetic should be reflective in all aspects of your business I'd said that when you're coming up with your brand name, you should make sure that that name, you know, you have considered your future growth and expansion of the brand, right? And make sure that the name is still relevant and fitting when the future comes. This is how. Number one, consider scalability. Think about whether the name you choose will still be relevant and fitting as your brand expands into new markets and products. For example, one day, Pedro might want to have a perfume line and that perfume line will still be called Pendra. You see that it still works. But if I'd come up with a name like Glory Couture and I registered the name as Glory Couture, which by the way, coming to that name Couture, please don't attach the name Couture to your fashion brand name and get it registered as such because you must earn the right. You must earn it. There's usually, there's a body in Paris which is responsible for vetting fashion brands and actually awarding them the couture name. If you don't know, no now, please. You are not couture until you have been vetted and awarded that name couture. Do you know what couture means? Couture means high needlework. It means that most of your, your jobs are done by hand. Needlework, needlework. Not those are our rush, rush, fast fashion we are, we are now doing, especially for those of us who do ready to wear. So please don't attach the name couture to your fashion name to your fashion brand name if you made that mistake go and undo it remove it out and register the name again without the cutor okay Bele, i know you did not know sorry number two avoid trend based names while trendy names might be popular now they may not be relevant to in the future so if right now butterfly dresses are trending and you go to name your brand um kelly the butterfly dresser something like that we, how uh, what is the future of that name please 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 some people will say avoid geographic references if you're planning to expand your business to other regions and location it's important to choose a name that doesn't tie you down to a specific location right but for some other people they think it actually draws them down to their roots and it doesn't stop them from scaling for example femi of lagos femi of lagos can open a store in london and he will still be called femi of lagos and everybody you know okay his roots are in lagos yeah consider the brand's mission and value choose a name that aligns with the brand mission and value it will likely um, still be relevant in future Seek feedbacks from experts. Get feedback from industry experts, brand professionals, and even potential customers to get a sense of how the name may be perceived in future. I had promised that I was going to give five people scholarship into the Masters of Ready to Wear program. And guys, today our first winner is Patience Ode. <laughs> Congratulations, Patience Ode. Quickly click the link right now pinned in the comment section that will take you straight to my whatsapp and let me know that you are available to claim this position if i don't hear from you 
within the next five days somebody else will claim that position okay if you want to be like patients and gain entry into the masters or ready to wear program for free right now comment like this video first and leave a comment in the comment section saying you want to be part of the program and good luck you might just make it in <laughs> but if you don't want that uncertainty like i said earlier on just register just register you get everything register <laughs> so guys my fashion business mentorship program is still running the fashion business mentorship program is totally different from the ready to wear program the masters of ready to wear program they are not the same thing okay so yes yeah, sign up for my fashion business mentorship program click the link right now pinned in the comment section or left in the description box click on it <laughs> and come on to whatsapp i'll give you the course outline for the program usually i like you to first let me know that the program outline resonates with you before you go on to sign up for the program my fashion business mentorship program runs for one month one month where you have access to me to rub minds with me and where i would help you guide you to ensure that you succeed in your fashion business if you've watched this video up to this point thank you so much i really appreciate you pendralites thank you guys you keep me energized you keep me you know going on this youtube journey like you make it easy for me because i know you are there thank you so much so if you would like to know how to find wealthy customers rich customers who can pay you the right price for your product and your services click this video right here and go and watch learn and implement we're testing the mic we're testing the mic we're testing the mic come on test the microphone come on test the microphone hey hey oh my voice is not coming back <laughs> even though i feel stronger